Louis, Keith Hanna, St. James, Louisiana. I'm a resident. I've been living here roughly 30 years. When I first came here, I moved here because it was a quiet community, a close-knit community. You know, I was originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I moved here because I didn't want to deal with the crime and the different things that was going on in the city. So I decided I would move to the, to the country. Uh, and since then, it's, every year, it's been progress and getting more and more chemical plants, uh, oil refineries. And within the past, say, five years, it's gotten worse. Um, new stuff, all coming storage, storage company. They built a storage facility not 150 feet from my home. They put in a rail line not 150 feet from my home. They have rail cars banging constantly, day and night. Now, they're going to be a plastic plant, which is extremely dangerous. Uh, now they're also building a grain facility and another plastic plant without our input from the community. You know, like I said, I, I, I was running away from crime. Now I just to come crime to met me. Because the way I feel, the EPA never told us anything. All the way we found out is when these companies started to build. And you know, which I feel it was very unjust. And now since we have even another more aggressive EPA, are they going to eliminate the EPA completely? We're not going to stand a chance. All of these places, all of these companies, you know, are killing folks. For my air, our water, you know, I used to fish. I don't even fish anymore in this area, you know, because of what they're putting in the water. And now since they're saying, well, these, these large companies can do whatever they want and they're rolling back all these protections that the former administration gave us, which was very limited to begin with with them. So if it was limited with the former administration, we don't stand a chance at all. I'm not even looking for the EPA to come back to this community to tell us anything on what these, what, what these plants are getting, what these permits these plants are getting. They're always wanting more and more permits to put more and more things into the air into the water. You know, that's a crime. You know, like I said, when I was living in the city, I had to deal with just normal crime. People getting robbed, getting murdered. Now what they're doing, these large companies are rob robbing us and killing us. And there's nowhere to turn. There isn't. There's nowhere for us to go to as a community. And they asked me to come out and speak today to tell my side. And this is my side. We're tired. We're, we're making a stand right here, you know? And I'm asking any individual out there who can help to support us, please do. We have a council consisting of seven people, but only three on this side. So we, without a prayer, when if anything come in because the majority is across the river. Uh, the plants say they, they're friendly to us. But if you have written around here, you can see a lot of the houses around here are down because they have no money to prove that they did all these things doing it. At night, we hear barges hitting. We hear the trains hitting. We hear everything. We, I have asthma real bad. And it only has acted up more since these plants have come in. Well, we have those across the river coming in with these over here. I have always lived in St. James Parish. I was born in St. James Parish. I'm 79 years old. In St. James Parish, that, that was a time when we had cotton fields, we had canned fields, we had rice fields, but we still had clean, we had clean air and clean water. When when we didn't have drinking water, but I was here before we had running water, electricity, gas, and all of that. We used to get water out of the river to drink. Now today, Every few months we have a note letting us know that the water is not safe for us to drink. 
We have all the, all these plants coming coming in here. We can the, the trees, all that our our trees, the fruit trees, and everything. We had lots of fruit trees around here. All of that is gets gone. We have this have different uh, species of birds. You seldom see any birds anymore. Grasshoppers in the summertime, that was always grasshopper. Then we, uh, we we never see that anymore, right? Frogs, they're all gone. So when our ecosystem starts to diminish like that, it has to be something called. They tell us the plants are good for us, but they never tell us about the downside or what what the emissions from the plants can do to our health. We have a lot of people with allergies, cancer. My daughter, she has allergies so bad that when in the morning she get up and walk through this air, her face actually swells up a lot of the time. She breaks out in rash. And I know it. She didn't used to have it before. So it's, it's all this emission that is causing this, you know? But they still tell us it's safe. And even if we have an exposure to the plant, there is no way for us to get out of here. When it used to be, if you couldn't use the highway, you, you get the level. Since the plants came, there are places where the level is barricaded for the plant. We are like, we are just trapped in this environment and nobody seems to care. Nobody wants to anything about it. And all they want to tell us that it's bringing job and it's good for us. What about our health? I mean, what good is a job if you don't have health? Uh, to everyone out there, my name is Councilman Clyde Cooper. I'm also from the St. James area. I'm Councilman of the 5th District, which is the area where a lot of industries are trying to locate. And we just have some concerns as citizens in this area to try to uh, cut down on the uh, amount of industry that's trying to come in the area, especially uh, industries that may affect the uh, quality of life to the residents and we have some residents that already have asthma problems in different situations and by the plants uh, locating uh, in between communities it makes it pretty difficult to even build a community so that's one of the fights that we're trying to do in this area is to raise awareness of this concern so that we can uh, pretty much grow the community, make it a stronger community, do more things for the residents, for the schools, and instead of trying to remove schools from the area, to try to grow those schools that are in the area. So that's one of the strongest concerns we have. Uh, uh, we pray that people will uh, pay attention to this cause and uh, make sure that we come together to make this a safer and better community. My name is Sharon Levine. I've been living in St. James for 64 years. And this is my cousin, Slim. He's, um, he's a minister. A minister, and I've been here 65 years. I've also worked in the uh, Gulf Oil Chemicals, dealing with benzene, tylene. I know the effects of it. And uh, so far, at the pipeline, the thing that concerns me the most is if there's an eruption or a spill or something, and I know that oil has benzene in it. It's a byproduct of things, and it's used to make plastics and chairs and cups and stuff like that. I know this already, but what kind of safety precautions do they have? Are they telling us about them? Or what, what kind of evacuation route is there for us if, if we got to get out the way? Uh, where can we go to be uh, set up uh, safely? That's the thing that we need to know. You know, I'm not trying to kill your plant, but I don't want your plant to kill me. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? Okay. And I feel like we've been living in this town all of these years, and our politicians that we elected put in office, they're not thinking about us or our health. I feel like the plant found us here. Why should we have to move? Because they're coming to pollute our air. We have people with cancer, allergies, my skin itch. I, I, I can't go outside and walk without itching and scratching. And a whole lot of other Ill ailments that we have in St. James. And people having cancer, cancer in my family. I've been to the doctor for all different things. I have liver problems. I have so many different problems and my children, my three daughters moved away from here because they didn't want to breathe this air mm -hmm. anymore. And this is our community. Why should we have to move? Why don't the plants stop coming here? 
and I feel like our elected officials is not doing us justice. Only a few, not all of them, but only a few that's trying to help us and try to help solve this problem. I know what and the real a thing lot is. of people, a lot of plants coming in here, they're not buying us out, but they want us to breathe what they're going to put in the air for us. We have enough industry here, and I feel like we shouldn't have any more. I've lived here in St. James for about 22 years. And in those years that I was here, I experienced a lot of sinus infections. I had a lot of migraines. I had to go to the doctor several times for the migraines and they would put me in medicine. The medicine used to make me very sick, so I couldn't take it. I ended up having to take different medicines, but I was constantly complaining about migraines. And that's when my mama decided to, for me to go to the doctor for it. But the doctor never necessarily pinpointed a reason. He just diagnosed me and gave me some medicine and sent me home, you know? So I would notice getting up in the morning and my car would be parked in the yard and I'll get, when I go outside, it'll be a, a layer of like this orangey white dust plaguing my car every day. And I wash it and I wake up the next day and the dust will be right back on that. And I'm like, well, the dust is small enough that I wouldn't see it just walking through. But when I look, walk outside and I see it all in my car, just from a few hours of it being parked at my mom's house, I noticed that it would always have dust on it. So I was like, well, if it's on my car, I know I'm inhaling it just walking outside as well. And I noticed that I was always sick. So I had moved away. I went to live in Baton Rouge. I live in Baton Rouge now. And I rarely have migraines. I rarely experience any of those, any of those things. And I don't have any of that issue anymore. And I knew that it was something that was just here in St. James. And I believe it was one of the causes of why I was sick, if not the only cause why I was sick and experienced those things. There are people here, there are families here. It's not a place just to put waste or to let any toxic fumes in the air or any chemicals that can affect us. Because people live here and they've grown their families here. And don't forget about us. That's what I don't want y'all to think. Don't forget about us.